Welcome to Donor Farm. You know, we don't often think of our organizations being actually in competition with other organizations for the giving dollars of the donors, but in some ways we are. Nobody has unlimited amounts of funds to give, so they have to make some selections or choices of who they're going to give to. It's important that we get that, and sometimes that we even let our donors know that we get that. Let me explain. Recently, I was in Northern California talking to a gentleman who he and his wife had just made a significant donation to one of our partner organizations, followed it up not long after with another large donation. So I was sitting there talking to him and I said, hey, I understand that you're making choices. There are a lot of places that need money and that you probably care about and you chose to give this donation to this organization instead of some other one and I want you to know how much we appreciate that. Nobody has an unlimited amount of money to give. Exactly and the, the fact is that they are actually probably giving to more than one organization. There's lots of things people are interested in. For example, they would be interested in their school that they're the alumni of. They are possibly interested in their, their local church or synagogue or their place of worship. They might be interested in the arts or in an international project that they have compassion for, such as water wells or orphanages. Lots of different types of things that people are interested in, in addition to you. And then in addition to you, we're also talking about organizations that are similar to you. And you're probably thinking of all this, this, the ways you're different. You're not thinking of your similarities um, to those organizations, but the donor is not seeing those nuances the way you are. Yeah. So. It is a competition, it's not, not a foot race, it's not a s spelling competition, but it comes down to this. How are you competing? You're competing on how clearly you're able to tell the message and let them get why they should give to you. Things like this, what is the problem that you're trying to solve? How are you actually going about doing that? Are you doing it well? And here's a big one that really matters to donors. What are you gonna do with the money you're asking them to give and how is that gonna be used to make a difference, to actually change things, change lives, change the cause, advance things? That's important for them to know as well. Right, in addition to communication, also quality is something donors are looking for. And I'm not talking about fanciness, just quality. Quality in your events, quality in your communication pieces, in your print pieces, all those different types of things. Are you buttoned up? People are making choices about who they're gonna divide their limited amount of giving dollars to. Give them a reason to choose you and to advance your work. And keep coming back to Donor Farm to learn more tips and advice and things that you can use to help communicate your message to people who care about your work and can help to advance you. And when it comes to running a race, if that was the competition, I think I like my chances of being able to beat you. Unless it's a distance race. <laughs> Unless it's to the donut shop. <laughs>